Okay, so it's about to start thunderstorming, so we're just gonna go into this and talk about it together instead of like an official review. But here's my take. I've ridden the golf board. It takes some getting used to, because I'm used to skateboarding and kind of all of that steering power and balance being in my legs, my feet. On this board, you actually have a lot of stability because this handle up here, uh, you know, lets you turn and you, you do have to kind of lean for those tight turns. Thankfully, there's a reverse because sometimes if you, you don't lean hard enough or there's a narrow sidewalk or something, you're gonna have to back it up a little bit. How much does this weigh, Mike? Uh, the board weighs 112 pounds. 112 so, pounds. Yeah, complete so you, you actually have a lot, you know, it's very low weight. Uh, it gives you a lot of stability when you're riding. Here's where you'd mount your golf bag, of course. And you've got this sort of like sand for like filling in divots and yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's a sand seed bottle. Sand yeah. seed bottle. You got the cup holders and stuff. So you're one of the founders of this company. And how, how old is the golf board? Um, we, we started developing the board about five or six years ago. It started, really its origins were kind of so really, like 2010 time period yeah 2010 yeah 20, yeah um the origins were kind of very high power high performance off-road electric skateboards hmm. and what we've done over the last four years is really create the kind of the first golf specific electric you know personal transportation device that emanates for board sport users so you get kind of this you know, skateboarding snowboarding surfing feel totally and what we're trying to do all along the kind of product development process is make an electric vehicle that electric vehicle nerds are proud of <laughs> yeah so we have a really low center of gravity the lithium battery packs mounted along this tray down in the bottom hmm. so it almost takes up this whole compartment we have a motor controller manufactured in england yeah um, everything on the board is very industrialized so yeah. it's very robust there's regenerative braking there's automatic braking curbs, there's safety braking systems built into it. Wow. Um, and I noticed that braking, this is like a race car where you're either accelerating or it's regenerating. Like there, it doesn't really coast so much. So you've got this nice variable speed throttle. We've talked about this sort of reverse before, right, forward yeah. reverse, low or high. So in Loma, like the low setting, how fast does it go? In, in low, it goes five miles an hour. In high, it goes 10 miles an hour. Okay. Um, it, it you know matches the speed of golf carts. Mm -hmm. The reason it has automatic braking and automatic acceleration curbs yeah. is so that it reduces turf damage and turf wear on golf courses. Ah. So you get the, uh, you know, this on a traditional golf cart, you get guys slamming on the e-brakes. You know, yeah, and spinning out, yeah. And, and with this, with the automatic braking curve, it kind of eliminates that, but you still get the excitement and the fun factor yeah because it's just it's just so darn fun to ride it's it it's, really is a blast to ride it's definitely fun how much are these and do people buy these for themselves or do you rent it at the golf yeah, course so primarily we lease golf boards to the golf courses directly so uh -huh. what you'll find now if you go to golfboard.com is you can just visit the website you can go look at our interactive map yeah and you can actually find a golf course where you can that just go rent these. the boards out so how cool really our market now it's it's not so much consumer direct as it is golf course direct it's an easier way to get more people on a product right these are made in, in the u.s say they're manufactured in New Jersey Sweet. At a military manufacturing plant um, you know every component of it was kind of designed built in-house it's really doing something that's never been done before yeah it's a very unique product but uh, you know clearly it's like purpose-made this isn't just like pieced together um, I noticed there's like a key here what is that yeah so that, that key is really kind of for fleet management so golf courses can manage the fleet you know so you can turn the boards on and off through that key switch it's basically uh, security measure right yeah because it'd be hard to push this around um, does regen like lock it up when you park it or something? Um, is it... Yeah, so there's an electromagnetic braking system mm -hmm. and a regenerative braking system. Oh. So it's actually two different systems in there. But um, when the board's turned off, the electromagnetic brake automatically is, goes into a shut state. Ah, right? So it's, there we go. It's actually it's like locked and parked. Really hard to move. Yeah, yeah, you'd have to. So and then is this a wheelie bar? Like what are these things? Those, are, are... those are bumpers. So what ends up happening in the fleet, definitely in fleet environments and fleet usage, yeah. is you're going to have people that you know ride the boards hard and and they will have impacts with other golf boards you're and lining them up and stuff. running you know even low speed crashes mm -hmm. the, so what we, we did is we implemented a bumper system that's not only easy on the shins yeah but also it's easily replaceable so rather than designing a board that's you know extremely difficult to replace if someone does have an incident yeah um the, the front bumper area is very quick and easy to replace so okay just kind of an also an easy uh, grab handle as well so easy you way have to lift to pull it around yep. so what was the price then if someone wants to buy one of these for uh, themselves they're $6,500 okay. for the whole the whole the whole board with the stability bar handle assembly yeah um, and, and a 10 amp charger 10 amp charger that's a fast charger a lot of like electric bicycle chargers are 2 amp and maybe sometimes 5 amp or something so it's fast you talked about the lithium batteries can just hit me with the specs you've got two motors what's the wattage on those um the the motor controller pumps out 100 amps oh and wow runs at 40 45 and a half volts 45 to 46 volts somewhere in there okay um so so you've got a it, peak power is north of 4,000 4, watts. Wow. Um, the average consumption when you're just cruising around on a golf course is closer to, you know, 17 to 20 amps. So you're pulling closer to, you know, 1,000 watts, 800 to 1,000 watts when you're in real thick grass. Wow. Um, yeah. 
but and you know it's it's heavier so a lot of times electric bikes it's like 750 watt motors or something so we're talking about a thousand watts yeah running yeah. at that 40 you know 48 volts or something like yeah, that the should... biggest thing for us all along the process was really building in a large enough battery pack sort of like you know in the tesla model s where they they want to get a lot of range and mm -hmm. right now that requires a tremendously heavy large battery right. pack there's over 7,000 cells in a tesla model s yeah yeah we had to do a sort of the same sort of thing here but scale down mm -hmm. to fit enough capacity so you know people are out on golf courses for four to five hours at a time and this board has to last for their round and then some right so well and at least we've... the 10 amp charger so it charges quickly but what's the go you know voltage and amp hours on yeah so it's 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 48 volt battery pack yep. and yep. it's 29 amp hours okay so it's That's it's huge far north of a thousand yeah one kilowatt hour pack, sweet so. sweet does it come with the cup holders and all these things um, or are there it comes with the cup holder and and um, these are an optional kind of swivel mount cup holder yeah. we have all kinds of accessory <laughs> mount cool. locations and so we have cell phone mounts and gps mounts and they're all kind of the creature comforts that golfers kind of require yeah. out on the course well we're, we've got the helmets on and no clubs because we wanted to do this quickly again it's raining there's lightning going on so as always when golfing be safe we'll probably i don't know we might want to cut this out now but i i wanted to get some shots of the tires um it's like Kenda yes. tires, that's kind of cool. Yeah, Nylon tubeless. Kenda turf specific tires. 11 by 4 inch. So, yeah, it's you were talking about making sure that they don't damage the course and they're a lot wider. Uh, you know, we're talking about that 4 inch. That's like the fat tire standard on bikes, and this has four. Really good suspension. So, this actually felt good to me when I was cruising around over bumps and stuff. It didn't feel it too jarring. And of course, you've got your legs and your knees, you can kind of cushion. Um, yeah, man, I think that's that's awesome. You have any last thoughts? No, yeah, let's, let's, hit, let's hit the links. Yeah, right? Like, <laughs> Okay, so I've got this set up. I'm in forward. I'm just gonna do low at first here. Yeah, feels really good. This is me just feathering it. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Yeah, definitely using my body weight to kind of maneuver it, you know, because those springs. There's like the regen kicking in, so it's recuperating some of that energy. Um, definitely fun. I mean, it, it almost makes me, you know, if you have golf clubs in it, I'm sure they'd be kind of rattling around a little bit. There might be a way to bring some socks or something if you've got the club toppers. And there'd be a little bit more weight on top, so I imagine that would actually help me to maneuver a little bit. Because, I, you know, I'm not a huge guy. I'm like 135 pounds. I was using my weight to pull it. I'm just having a blast. Like, it's, it's really kind of cool. I imagine you've got a, a few guys out there it's fun to hang out with your friend in a golf cart and talk a little bit, but it's also kind of nice to do your own thing. I can imagine going out with a, a group of friends and, and getting a little bit more adrenaline going and kind of a workout um, as you're going along. So here, maybe I'll take you, take you along for a ride. Just get up here, put it on low this time. There's the throttle. It's the power button right there. Just turn it on, turn it off. Let's see here. So we're all set. Just feathering it. Very cool. Good boy. Really pulling it. A lot of fun and pretty quiet too. You got the fenders and everything. Got that nice cup holder going on. Sweet. Pretty quiet. Yeah. This has dual dual motors front and rear. How strong are they? Uh, the, it peaks at 4,500 watts. So, wow. You know, yeah, roughly you know, eight eight horsepower. Pure. It's got a 16 to one gear ratio. So 16 yeah. to one. So wait, are there two canister motors, or how do all the wheels get their power? Yeah. So each, the wheels are uh, solid. Yeah. Solid axles. So you have full. So okay. whatever type of train you're on, especially on a golf course, yeah. it's really important to have really good traction so you don't damage turf. Right. So this, this actually has less impact on turf than a traditional golf cart because you have all four wheels working together all the time. That's sweet. Ooh, there you go. <laughs> 
Oh, that's fun. You look like you're kiteboarding or something. Windsurfing. <laughs> awesome. And of course, we don't have golf clubs on it. Is there like a weight limit on this? Uh, 287 pounds. Sweet.